Hello, my friends. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're ready for another YouTube video from your old buddy, Dadcraft73. We're back here playing some Dire Wolf 20 1.12 modded Minecraft. And let me tell you what, we're having a good old time. That is for sure and for certain. Man, we don't have any time to be standing around looking at the camera today. I was actually out here at night last night, last Minecraft night, looking for some mobs. I was trying to find some blitzes, believe it or not. I don't like those guys. I wish I had something ranged <laughs> to shoot them with, but I got a couple. I killed a couple. Actually, I did more than just get a couple. I also made one of these mob imprisonment tools. Let's take a look here and I'll show you what this guy is. One of these guys right here from Industrial Foregoing. It's just a little bit of plastic surrounded by a gas tier. And I not only killed a couple, but I captured one. That's right. We'll be using that down the road for some cool stuff. Let me just... Uh, I made myself an item frame. I don't need it just today. But I'm going to put it right there. So every time I come up here, I remember that it's there. And I remember what we want to do. I think we're going to get ourselves a little bit of a mob farm. And farm up some blitzes. I need some blitz rods. Not blaze rods. Blitz rods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we have so we have a little project to do today. So I need to do a little bit of crafting. So first of all, I need a magma crucible. Now I'm not going to tell you. Uh, you'll probably, well, whatever. I'm not going to tell you yet. You'll see it in the video thing. So you'll already know. But... I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is quite yet. So first of all, I had put some, in preparation for some recording, I put some nether brick over there in my pulverizer, or no, in my uh, furnace, just to be able to make a couple nether bricks. Let's get that out of here, and I need, uh, we might as well convert those all. You never know when we might need stuff. Okay, let's get ourselves a magma crucible. All right, and we need one of these. Okay, we can make that. We need one of these, which is that guy. All right, we need a machine frame. Uh, we need a gear here in the middle. Is that tin gear? Yeah, we can make that guy. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll make two. <laughs> and then we can make this. All right. And then we need some Invar gears. Can we make two of those? Oh, yeah. Okay. What is that thing right there? Compactor gear. Huh. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that this was a thing. Huh. That feels like it might be new. I don't know. I don't know. But let's make one of these guys Magma Crucible. Okay? We also need to make sure in our box of bag of tricks here we have some energy conduit. We don't. Okay. Energy. Uh, what is it? Leadstone? Yeah. Oh, we just have one? That feels weird. You sure I don't have some more in here? Oh, I upgraded it all, didn't I? Okay, let's get some lead stone. We need some of these right here. Can I just make them? I, mean, I don't know how many we need, but that should be enough. 25 should get the job done. Okay, we need to add it to our array here. We've got all kinds of stuff on our crazy deal so far. Uh, I guess we'll just go down here. We'll just keep on expanding it out. Why not? Oh, we already even have power in there. Who are we trying to be some... Oh, it's running over there. Okay. That makes sense. It's going to start getting in the way of that, though, isn't it? Well, we'll move it whenever we need that thing. I don't think we need it today. All right, let's make this. All right, Magma Crucible. All right, getting power. Everybody's happy. Doesn't need to be too crazy. Now, we're not going to, like, make lava with this thing. we got to make a very special material... So I need to get my blitz rods that I have. And I have eight of them. And that's actually going to be enough to make a good many of the things that I need. So let's put these in the pulverizer. We're going to grind them up real quick. And we're going to get some blitz powder that should be showing up over here momentarily. This is not going to like try to like do anything crazy, right? Yeah, okay, it's coming. All right. Oh, and while I'm here, let me... I need to make some hardened glass. We might as well get on that too, since we've got to do some work there. So it's just some of that stuff and some lead. Okay, let's get some lead. Here, we'll just get... I think we're probably going to need... Well, we'll get that many. And that goes into the induction smelter. So let's put this in here, like so and so. 
and start that process up. And then as soon as I can put this other little bit in there, I'll do that too. Yeah, now? Okay. And it's going to eject that stuff back over here. All right, perfect. So there comes my Blitz Powder, and that's how much I was expecting to get. I also need some... Oh, hey, that stuff looks all crazy in my hand. I love that. All right, ooh, Knight, OJ. All right, so I've got some... No, not Sulfur. I don't need Sulfur. I need Niter. Okay, and you get Niter by grinding up... Well, you get it by killing Blitzes. You get a little bit, but you also get it by grinding up Sandstone. You get some Niter, so that's kind of cool for sure. All right, so what I need to make is something Aerothium... Let me look and see what I can use this for. How about we do it this way? Let's do it like this. We need to make this. Aerothium dust. Okay, so that's niter, white sand, and redstone. And I want to make as much of this stuff as I can. So let's put all that in there. Okay, and then we'll go back to here like so. And let's see how much of this I can actually make. Can I make all of it, please? 64. Yeah, okay. That's good. Now, if we put this stuff in our newly made magma crucible, right, stick that in there, it's going to do its deal. It's going to be a little slow. We can crank it up a little bit if we want to, but I'm not too worried about it because I think I may have some other stuff to do. We get Zephrian Erothium. Oh, my goodness. Fancy. Fancy, fancy. Let's make ourselves a tank really quick. Um, is that guy empty? It's empty. Perfect. Can I just, like, stick him up there? And let's go to this. And right now, let's actually disable them all. And all I want to do is export that to the top. Will it do that? I guess so. Oh, where did it go? Is it in there? Yeah, it's filling up. <laughs> I had to get like all up on it. But you can see the thing barely flip filling up. Okay, so there's that. Okay. Now, the other thing we need is a fluid transposer. So let's make one of those as well. Okay. Pretty simple. Some more Invar gears. Redstone reception coil, I know we can make right now. A bucket, I know we can make. Let's get that done. We need a machine frame. We made an extra gear, so we should be able to do that. Now, let me see. Am I going to be able to make these Invar gears? Oh. Oh, okay, <laughs> I didn't know if I had enough. All right, there's our fluid transposer. So let's go back over here. And let's put this guy here. Right, put him down. And I just want to disable all of these guys. Okay, let's just get some power in him for now. And then I think that's what we need. How's this guy doing? Yeah, he's filling up. Everybody's happy. Yeah, I mean, I might even get a full tank out of that. That would be awesome. That's going to be able to allow me to make tons of the thing that I want to make. So here's what I want to make today, believe it or not. I want to make these things called viaducts. Okay, whoops. Viaducts. This is what I want to make. So I need to make this guy right here. So I need a via, an untreated... Yeah, it is a fluid transposer set to fill. Okay, that's right. Fluid transposer. Poser. <laughs> Fluid transposer set to fill. Yeah. And we're going to put in the stuff there. Now, what I could have done is just put this right in here, right? But that's okay. I don't mind. We'll just keep it like that. That's okay. All right. So I need to make some untreated viaducts. And I need bronze. And that's why I need hardened glass. It just it needs any hardened glass. Is this stuff done over here? 36. And I think I have some hardened glass already. Let me see. Hardened. Learn how to type. Hardened. Yeah, so I have 24 already. So I have 60 hardened glass. Okay. How much bronze do I have? Not very much. All right. We need to make some more bronze, I believe. And I think we can just go like this. One, two. That's probably enough. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go back to our viaducts, and we'll go like this, and we'll go like this, and we'll make, literally, uh, I think I want to make as many as I can. Uh, maybe not. Mm, maybe. Let's make as many as we can. We can make 60. Okay, that should be good. I think that's going to be enough. Um, I don't need you. 
All right, the other thing I need to make is one of these little guys right here called a structural duct. Can I just make that? No, I need a iron. Just wait a minute. Make sure. Structural duct. Yeah, iron nugget. Okay, let's make some of those. Structural. Now, okay, let me make another. Make it. I just. I think I just need six. I mean, we'll make twelve. We'll probably use them at some point. And then I need a piece of sandstone, and I need this, right? Smooth sandstone? That's what all this stuff is around here? Yes. All right. And now I think if I go like this and like this, yes. Yes, mate. <laughs> Do you watch that guy? I don't know. You probably don't. There's a guy on YouTube. His name is The Lad Baby. Oh, my goodness. That guy. He cracks me up. I just laugh and laugh watching his show, his videos. I love him so much. Anyway, that's one of the things that he says all the time. And I'm just trying to be cool like him. Okay, so I want to take these guys back out of here. I never have traded with them, but that's okay. Um, let's just keep them in these lassos for now. Let's not let those guys loose. Alright, where's my axe? You know, it's funny. I don't actually have like an axe. Like that actually like chop stuff. Okay, so I'm going to use this little alcove. I was thinking about maybe filling it in. Hmm. I mean, I think maybe we sh we shall. Maybe we shall fill it in. Let's take that out of there. It doesn't matter what I put in there, does it? I don't think so. All right, so what I need to do is... So if you don't know what viaducts are... Man, I was sort of waiting to show you, but that's okay. How's this guy doing? Oh, man, we're loving it. He's going to have a full tank, I bet. So what viaducts do, if you look at the uh, the tool tip, so we'll look at the use of these. We can make these guys right here, and they transfer players. And let me tell you why I want one of these. And I was planning on this sort of since day one. So right now, to get over there to the power production pyramid, the PPP, we have to come out, we have to fly over the top of the house, we got to do all this stuff, and then we got to come down here and go like this. What if we could just leave from the basement here and go and just pop up right here? Yeah, I think that's a great thing. I think it's going to be amazing. All right, so I guess what I should do then is start right here in the middle. Let's go and check something real quick before we start going all crazy digging. Okay. I want to know what Y level this is. So this is, I'm standing on 55, okay? So I want it to be at this block right here. So that's 56. Yes? Okay. So we have to go all the way down to Y level 56. I hope we don't run into some kind of crazy, like, huge underground thing. But let's go right here. And it's this way, right? Yep. Okay. Is this the center? Yeah. Okay. Down to 56. Well, I guess that's true. Huh. All right. Okay. Do I have any torches? I do. Okay, let's let's just get a couple torches here. Just so we can light this up so we don't like get blown up with mobs or anything that are running around in here. Now, if I go this way, I'm under the sand right now. And I'm heading in to our workshop pyramid. Oh, I want that. Let's put another torch down so you guys can see what's going on. i got to stop and grab iron. Why not? We always need materials. You know, we don't have one of those big fancy like void ore miners or anything like that going. At least not today. We're going to get one. Don't worry. All right. And now let's get a little bit of this cobble and just kind of fill this back in. Just so we don't have any like weird pockets. Right? Okay. All right. All right. Let's keep going. And we sh Oh, man. There's more iron. I love it. Oh, and there's... Oh, there's appetite. We should grab that too for sure. That's weird. I'll take it though. That helps us make some fertilizer if we need it down the road. All right, let's keep going. I want to bust through into the workshop. There we go. Workshop. Hey! Why are you in my base? I thought it looked a little dark around here. Man, we got to put some lights down. There. There's a thing. Is it F4? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is at four. Puts all these numbers on the ground. Yeah, so we can, like, put a torch there. Okay. And that shows you whether or not mobs can spawn. It shows you what the light level is, right? 
So if I come down here and I just like stick that there, there we go. Okay. Shows you what the light level is. So if you don't want mobs to spawn, we should go upstairs and just, oh my goodness, it is so dark up here. How did I not like put torches down? <laughs> oh my goodness, excuse me. Maybe I thought I did have torches down. I thought it looked a little dark around here. What is this? I need to fix that. Okay, let's go back downstairs. Okay, so let's turn this off. It's kind of annoying, but it's actually pretty handy. Okay, so what my plan is, is to build myself a viaduct transport system where I can just whoosh along, hit this thing right here, and go straight up, and come right out the, in the middle of this. And I think we're going to try to bring it all the way up so we actually come out here level with the floor. And that's why I left this kind of square here. Man, I had this plan for a while. I thought it was going to be awesome. And then I was thinking, you know, we're going to build lots more pyramids, and it might be kind of cool, I mean kind of cool, to have like a viaduct system all around where we can just go like shredding all around underneath the sand. Like that sh that book, Dune. <laughs> we could be like the sandworms. That could be what our base is called. Is this done? Okay, this is done. Okay. So now, if I put this guy, no, not that, that's this guy, here, like that, okay, and I say, input from the top. Input from the top. Uh, oh, auto input enabled. Can you input? Okay, maybe he doesn't want to input from the top. But I would like you to. If I put these in here, will you do anything? Oh, these don't go in there? Okay, that's what I have, right? A fluid transposer? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I thought it was going to be super easy. Fluid transposer, yeah, okay. Manipulates fluid and fluid containers. I mean, that's what this stuff is, right? If I put it down like this, and I get a bucket, do I have a bucket in my bag? <laughs> and that is set to fill, right? Empty fill. Okay, that's what I want. Let's see if I have a bucket. Uh, let's make a bucket. <laughs> I just typed that twice. All right, let's make ourselves a bucket. All right, can I take you? Okay, yeah. And I should be able to put this. Okay. Maybe that maybe it wasn't in the right way. Do I have to like pipe it in there? Maybe. Let's see. Do I, well we can do that. We'll give that a try and see. Do I have a fluid duct here? I don't know. Okay, let me see. I don't see one. Fluid. I have one here. Okay. And do I have a servo by chance? I do. This one will probably be good enough. All right, well, let's let's get, keep messing around with this thing and figure out why it's not going in there. Unless I've just made, like, some mistake and you guys are already hammering away at the keyboard letting me know. All right, you go here. Oh, no, no. Okay. And then we'll put the servo here. And we'll say go. Okay. Now he's uh, working, maybe? And we want this control to say input. Okay. Okay. Now, if I put these in here, all right, it's going to do its deal, right? And now we're going to have some viaducts. Okay, that was a little weird. I'm not sure exactly why that worked that way. 
but we have these right transports players whoosh now there's a couple kind of there's a couple sorts of viaducts if you've never done these guys there is the regular viaducts there's also long range ones and these actually make you go a lot faster what do you got to do to make those oh you don't even have to do anything you just need lead but i don't want long range ones I need short range ones because the long range ones, they don't work unless you're actually going a fair distance. And we're just going up around the corner. Then we've got one of those, a linking viaduct, which we don't need yet. That's, I guess, the, the issue with making those. Those are required. Okay, so I need to make a wrench from thermal expansion. Is there a wrench? I need to make a thermal expansion wrench. Forestry... Is it called a, um, is that a, what is that thing called? Uh, at thermal expansion. Okay. This right here. Crescent hammer. That's what I need. Okay. Let's make one of those real quick. I couldn't remember the name. I wanted to say crowbar, but it's not that. It's actually a, like a pipe wrench is what it is. All right. How are these guys doing? Okay. That's probably enough, right? Okay. So let's get our little viaduct system going on here. It's going to be amazing. You're going to love it. All right, so we're going to start here, right? Look, they're like little tubes. Come on, man. You have to love it. Okay. Hopefully I have enough. Yeah, I do. Okay, you are going to go up this way, and then we're going to keep on going on. All right, and I think we want to... I think we do want to come... Okay, how far? We're going to come all the way to the top. Right there, maybe? Okay. And now we have to think about what kind of cover we want over these things. Oh man, I'm gonna it's gonna be so awesome. <laughs> I can hardly stand it. Oh, there's a blitz. You dang dang thing. Get yourself chopped up. Yeah, give me a blitz rod. You did, thank you. Ow. Get out of here, spider. Alright, any more blitz blitzes around here that wanna get chopped? I don't really see any. Okay. Uh, by the way, if you're still watching at this point, because you probably are, because we haven't connected our viaducts yet and haven't become awesome whooshing around people, but next episode, which most likely for you guys will be tomorrow, we got to do, we got to fix this. We got to fix our mob spawner because we're eating steak. We want to be eating liquid meat. <laughs> and we had to take it offline to build the PPP over there, so... We want to make sure... Hey, get out, give me that back, guy. Because we, we want to make sure that we can do what we need to, right? So I think tomorrow's episode we're going to be messing around. No, I don't want to put that on my head. Let's add it to our collage here. You go there. Okay. We need one more. Oh, we do have a skeleton skull. Huh. Let me check something really quick while I'm down here. Um, I need to check diamonds. Oh, I don't have any diamonds. Okay, we used them all. Okay, so these are done. We have a couple more, which is kind of cool. All right, now, let's... We're going to need a couple. We want to fill this out. Let me grab these blocks here. Because these are my, like... We'll use those for the... To fill this back in and make it look decent. Let's get some of this, and we'll go like this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, like that. And we could probably fill that in. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna keep this little square going though. All right, oh man, that's almost perfect. And let's get. Um, oh, are these just like smooth sandstone? They were. Okay. Um, do I have a chisel? By the way, they fixed the bug. I told you guys last episode that there was a bug out with the chisel mod that if you chiseled some blocks and it used the last of your durability, it would actually crash your client. They fixed it. It's been fixed now. Let's do smooth sandstone. By the way, if you don't know, I don't think I've said anything yet. We're running 1.5, the most recent version of the, the mod pack. You can get it on the Twitch launcher if you would so desire. Okay, so then we go like that, okay? <laughs> Alright, I've never used these ever in my entire life. I've actually never even made any, but I think I can go like that. Oh, I can't go through it now? Okay, I want to be able to go through. Is there a different kind of cover? Like a pipe? Uh, is it a facade? I want one that has a hole in the middle of it. So 
I'd rather those things not be sitting. Oh, you know what? I, I know why. I know why it didn't work. Okay. Let me hit it with the crescent wrench. Hit this guy. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. All right. Uh, how do I name it? Okay. I don't know. Okay. Config. Okay. So we got to put in a, like a thing. This is just like an icon, right? We put our flux capacitor in there. No, I don't want to do that. All right, let's leave that there a second. Let's find out. This is power, right? So I think what we want to do is a piece of redstone, right? So anywhere that we have power going on, that'll be sort of our icon, right? So this guy right here, config, it's going to be red, and we're going to call it the PPP, okay? Okay. Okay. There we go. Now if I put a cover on, it has a little hole. Oh, come on. You have to love it. You just have to. I mean, I don't care who you are. You got to love stuff like that. It's amazing. All right, and now we're going to go over here. We're going to hit this guy with our crescent wrench, which is the other end. Okay. And this guy is the workshop, right? So what can we use as our icon for the workshop? I know exactly what we will use, which to me makes perfect sense. We'll use a workbench. Okay, we use a workbench as our icon. There we go. All right, now if I click on this, click on this, and I want to config. Oh, maybe it doesn't matter. Okay. Did that thing just go down there? I think it did. All right, let's see if this thing works. How do we get in this thing? Oh, man, I'm so excited. I can hardly stand it. I think it's awesome. Okay, let's see. We go over here. Oh. oh, that worked like a dream. Okay, okay, I see what happened. Okay, you go there, and we're going to call this the workshop. Okay, yes. Now if we click on this, we say, oh, I want to go to the workshop. Oh, I see. I see, we just, we did them backwards, didn't we? Now this right here should be... Okay, so we did these backwards. We got a config. Let's go back here. I don't mind. We'll ride it. Whatever. That's cool. All right, we want to go here, and we want to config this, and we want to call this the uh, PPP. Okay. Then we want to go here. We got to change the icon as well. And then we're going to call this guy. We're going to put this in here and call him... The workshop. Okay. I want to go here. <laughs> oh yeah, man. It's awesome. And we want to config this guy and change him. So now we got it right. Okay. So the, the when you configure like an opening in the viaduct, right? I hope this makes sense. But when you configure an opening in the viaduct, what you're doing is you're saying this is what this place is called, this entrance, right? So now I can go here and I can go back to the workshop. Okay, perfect. I love it. I think I left my crafting bench up there. That's okay. Now the question is, what are we going to put around this thing to be able to do what we want to, to have like a platform up there that we can actually land on, that we can put a cover on over? Let me see. So let me see what we can do. My phone is blowing up with Discord. The desktop app is getting an update or something and it's not working. I want to see stuff that's red, right? I guess is what we want. So we can make some red concrete. How do we make red concrete? We have, oh, okay. Red concrete powder which is all this stuff. Do we? Can we make any of that stuff? What do we need? Gravel? You know, we actually don't, we shouldn't even need to do that. Let's see, let's grab some gravel. Got some over here. Oh, my inventory is jacked. Let's put this, this, this. Mm, keep that. Keep Put that away. That. That's all this stuff can go. Blitz rod can go. That and that and that and that and that. And that. Most of this stuff can go away. We're going to need one of these. So let's put the rest of those away. Cobblestone goes away. 
Uh, might as well put that in there too for now. Uh, we'll put those away too. Okay, all right. So let's grab some gravel. Let's try this again. Let's go over here, throw this. In. Can we just go like this? Make some red concrete powder. Now, I know that it says, hey, you got to like put it in the fluid transposer and all that kind of stuff, but I'm pretty sure, is eight going to be enough? No. We're going to need technically nine. Let's make a little bit more. Uh, red. Red concrete. Red concrete. Red concrete powder. There. Let's make eight of those guys. Okay? We're, we're going to stay on theme. We got to stay on theme. So now we should just be able to go over here like so. Right? And can we just like. Yeah, we can just do that. Okay, so we just need nine of these. Let's just go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's probably more than nine, but that's okay. I mean, this is deep. Oh my goodness, we're like down in the in the depths of the ocean. Let's get back over here. Let's just bust all this up real quick, and then we'll go pick it back up. Not a problem. Okay, and you... Okay, I'm missing one. Got it. Okay. Now, just because we can fly doesn't mean we don't want to do cool things, right? We definitely want to be messing around with some of this fun stuff. Okay. So, I, no. No, let's not run over there. Let us go over here and we'll say, take me to the PPP. Here we go. Shoo -shoo. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so I kept one of my structural guys out. Let's make one of these, get some covers. Okay, I have eight of these. So if I put these guys around like so, okay, and then I should be able to put this cover on the ground. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now we, you know, we can we can be around in here, and I think we're probably going to end up putting some other stuff in here. I mean, we don't necessarily need to just have it be our crazy advanced generator set up and we can do something else for sure but you know we don't have to come outside we don't have to go rolling around outside we can say oh i'm up here working hmm i wish i had such and such and i can say let me go to the workshop and i'll snatch it up <laughs> here we go come on man you have to love it you have to i don't care who you are or what you're doing you gotta love it okay so i need to do a couple more things now that i'm actually like got myself squared away here so smooth sandstone I do not have very much of it that's for sure do I have regular sandstone uh, no I don't here we will make some I don't need too many that's probably oh that went a little more than I wanted it to we could go like this and we'll make some smooth okay all right perfect you go away we'll throw that in there for a rainy day now do I have my chisel I do chisel not that chisel the other chisel I think it's over here in the chest okay let's sleep through the night oh man Java dad's on I don't know what he's doing he said he was semi AFK which I'm not sure exactly what that means but probably means he's messing around with something okay so I need this I need my diamond chisel and I need uh this one okay I need this one wait no I need this one and I need the inside one this one okay I also need these bags okay so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna put some smooth sandstone we're gonna fi fix this thing up right so normally this guy would have a block here here and here right but we're going to take this yeah and we're going to get rid of it like that we're going to fill this back in okay and then he would have i had to figure that out i had to make sure that that was right i didn't like this doorway anyway for this crazy thing is it this one yeah like this this and this okay now that's done on the inside uh, let's click on it with an empty hand just in case something crazy goes on. All right, let's go to the workshop. Then we're going to come back out and do the uh, the outside of this thing. Okay, let's go up here. Hello? Okay, that way we'll seal off the PPP. The only way to get to it 
is for us to do what we got to do. Okay, so if I take some more smooth sandstone and go like this, this, and this, and this, like that, and this, 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 okay, then I should be able to use this guy just to finish these off. Do, do, and do. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I love it. Now that thing is sealed off, which is, man, I think that's how a pyramid should be. I sort of want to put in some windows. Does it need some windows? Do we have time? I don't know. Probably not. Let's see if I have any red glass. Um, I think I can get away. Maybe just like some, like some little like window like slits. Red glass. I have twenty five. That's probably going to be enough. Let's. Oh, I have this. Okay. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm about to do this. We're going to have bits flying all over the house and everywhere else. Now, the reason why I use these guys is because these don't care what material that you use, right? It's not fixed on a certain material, right? It just does whatever. So if we go here, let's just go right here and let's bust out these and this, okay? And then I can put a piece of glass here and here. And here and here. That's four pieces. Now I should just be able to. Oh, that was the wrong one. All right, so if that ever happens, right, you do the wrong thing, get yourself your chisel in your hand, right, hit Alt and go undo, right, and then it's back. And then we can make sure we use the right. We gotta use this guy, okay, this guy and this guy, right, just like a little slit there. And I think that's gonna be enough. So center, we just came down one. All right, and then we got to make sure that we hit these inside pieces. Here, get out of my way, guy. Okay, we hit these guys, and then we'll come out here and hit these guys, and then we'll go like this and this. Okay, now we got it. And then we'll just have to go on on the inside. Center, down, two. We got to get this one, and this one, and this one. So these, secondly, technically four blocks, right? Like that. All right, and then we can go like that and like that. And then we'll go right here. And here, here, and here. Okay, put these guys on the inside, these guys on the outside. Go like that and like that. Okay, is the roof still open? It is. <laughs> we'll go in that way. And then if I get my other design, I can finish these off on the inside. Yeah, man, looking like a dream. Do, do. Just have a little bit, maybe we get a little bit of sunlight in here so we can sort of see what's going on. These blocks are all busted up. We've got these extra ones laying around now. Are they stacking together? They are. Okay. Okay. So there we go. So now we have a little bit of light going on in here. Just, you know, to make it be a little cooler. At some point, we probably need to get some cool lamps in here, or lights or something like that. Figure out how we're going to do that. There's a couple options. I haven't forgotten my little project that I've got over there in the base. All right, let's head back to the workshop. All right, let's actually... Can we do this? Um, let's see. If I go and I say this... Look! Do, 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 do. <laughs> Here, let's go back. Okay. Oh, look, I'm like flying through the thing. Oh, I love it. I love it. Man, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from my Direwolf 20 1.12 Let's Play Minecraft Mob Pack Series. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.